You know what's cool about Swiss elevators? Good morning everyone, kinda. It is 4 a.m. and this is picking up a couple hours after the last vlog in Italy. We are on route to Switzerland and we have about four different trains that we have to catch. We just completed our first one which lasted around like four hours. We were all sleeping and crowded on it and one dude was snoring up the entire cab and was keeping everyone up but we made it through and we're exhausted <laughs> to say the least. And we have about we have a couple hours of traveling ahead of us and it's all just trains and walking, but... We have officially touched down in Switzerland. We are exhausted and we have to walk around 30 minutes to our Airbnb. It's raining and I think it's starting to snow. Typical Switzerland weather, but I don't care because we're just so happy to be here. Uh, this entire trip, we kind of had like our pick for our own little countries. Italy was Claudia's, Croatia is Annie's, and mine was Switzerland. Uh, there's a whole story on like why I've always wanted to come to this country that we're gonna get to later. But it's so, so remarkable that I'm finally here. Claudia and Annie are currently checking in with the owner, but I'm separate from them because we actually only bought the Airbnb for two guests just to save a little money, so I am their friend that's just visiting. But in fact, we're all staying there for this trip. Um, I think they're over there. They just went inside and I'm just waiting on uh, the time that we agreed to meet up. But Switzerland, <laughs> I, I just, I think, I think about how I've always, always dreamed of coming to this country and when I studied abroad I knew that I would want to, to visit here. This was my, my top list country that I wanted to hit up and the fact that I'm here, I, it, hasn't, it hasn't hit me yet to be honest. I think it's maybe when I see the actual mountain that we're gonna be visiting tomorrow. That's when it's all gonna come. We are having our first dinner in Switzerland and we're excited to dig in. Uh, unfortunately, it is very rainy and it's gonna be like that for the entire time we're here, but nevertheless, we're so glad to finally be here. And it's been a long, tiring day, but the uh, real trip will start tomorrow and we're super excited for that. Finally in Zermatt, Switzerland. It's been a long day of just like traveling and finding where to go, but we're finally here and we are going to be making our way up the Matterhorn. Um, yeah, everything has built up to this moment, so let's do it. So it was kind of hitting me earlier that I'm finally here, but now that I'm actually like walking and I could see all the things that I've seen in like videos, it's, Huge journey, we're finally here. Oh my gosh, this is 
everything that I've been seeing in videos for the past five years. Uh, I, oh How do you feel? I am feeling quite nervous, uh, quite, quite emotional as you probably saw me on the train earlier. But. <laughs> We were saying we look kind of weird because we're the only people here without skiing gear. <laughs> yeah, we're just here for the view. <laughs> All right, so now the goal is find the point where this picture was taken. here for five six years I've been dreaming of coming to this place and I always use Matterhorn as like symbolism a place where I could be free a place where I could fly high get past my problems and I I knew that one day I would be here and when I came to the UK, I, I didn't know if it was going to be possible, but it, it was on my list and I made it happen. I told myself, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. And the past five years has built up to this moment right here. So I've been dreaming of this, what I'm about to do. Gosh, I'm sinking in the snow. <laughs> wow, wow, this is beautiful. I can't believe it. Everything that this has taught me, learning to not rely on other people to live through your sadness, but instead live their happiness through you. And People that brought me to this point, people who were able to show me better days. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually here. God, my throat hurts. Oh yeah, which by the way, um, what's been on my bucket list for the past five years is that um, I wanted to travel to Switzerland, stand at the top of the Matterhorn Trail, and scream. Big significance here.
just seeing the Matterhorn right here really shows me how far you can go in life. You know, if you ever feel like you're at like a, like a rough place, if you're at rock bottom, always know rock bottom is a trampoline and there is always a silver lining in every single cloud. You know, do not be discouraged by the things that you might be turned away from because there's something bigger and better coming your way. We are officially halfway through our vacation and tonight we will be getting on a plane to leave for Greece. You know, this entire holiday has been amazing so far. Uh, hitting up Italy, we just completed Switzerland, Greece, and then Croatia, which is amazing. Like just in the span of two weeks, we have been traveled to four different countries. And then after that, we have two weeks left of this entire semester, and then I'm gonna be going back home. And I wanted to sit down because I've been thinking a lot for the past like week um, and, and for the past month if I'm being honest and it's been it's been kind of hard because I've uh, gotten really um, close to home I have just continuously been talking to all my friends and family and my girlfriend who I'm really missing so much and if there's one thing that I've learned about this entire experience it's that Studying abroad definitely changes you and you will learn new things about yourself that you never would have discovered if you hadn't gone away. And I'm super, super grateful to have learned all these new things. And at the same time though, I'm just really counting down the days until I get to go back to Chicago and I get to see all my friends again. It's weird because I know that like once it's done, I'm going to be missing it so, so much. but. I'm in that moment right now and I am I would do anything to just like go back home which it's weird for me to say that because I have for the past like what five years my heart has always been set on travel that's the only thing I ever wanted to do I was willing to just drop everything and get on a plane and study abroad it was all about studying abroad I planned my entire college career around it and now that I'm finally here like I'm, I'm loving it and it's it's amazing and I wouldn't have traded anything for the world but it just it just sucks because I don't have all my like loved ones with me and that's the hardest thing about it uh, I'm currently working on a video that I'm going to be posting uh, far from this point right now it is called 50 things that I learned while studying abroad and um, I've been able to get a good list so far, but I know that there's just going to be so, so many new things that are going to be added within the, my last month here and even after this entire trip is done. And studying abroad has also impacted my future so much because uh, this is something that I haven't really opened up about on YouTube, uh, only like my close friends and, and some people know. But after college, my plan was to do van life. I actually have a van, it's a Chevy G20 from the 90s. And I wanted to just renovate the inside with like wood and insulation and like a bed and make it like a tiny mini camper. And I had plans of traveling all across America and just constantly being on the move. And one question that I always get about van life is why? Like why van life? You know, I, I'm curious like why you, um, like what, what about van life intrigues you? And um, for me, it's the fact of constantly like being on the move, like not knowing where you're gonna rest your head down that night or like where you're gonna be, where you're gonna be parked at and just living life going wherever the road takes you. That has always just been so beautiful to me. And I think that originated because I have moved around so much as a kid. I've lived in, I, I've, I've lost count. I think I've lived in like 15, 16 different houses for my entire life. My parents divorced when I was little. And so obviously that meant that we were like constantly moving around and stuff like that. And I never really had like a, had consistency in my life. You know, it was always like, where are we going to be uh, spending the holidays with this year or like where are we going this weekend and stuff like that. So in a way I guess I kind of got used to that and 
inconsistency is the only thing that I know and I know like some other people that I'm close to who have gone through the same thing feel the same way so I guess I kind of channeled all of those feelings into me deciding to do van life but that all changed once I came abroad because this was the first time where I was like actually away like sure I was always like on the move as a kid but I was always kind of in the same area. Even though I have moved around 15 different times, I've always been in the Chicago, Illinois area. And this move out here to the UK was the first like actual legit move. And I think that's why it hit me so hard. I thought that going across the world would be easy for me because that's all I've been doing. All, all I've been doing is moving. But then when I got here, I realized, well, this is so, so different. It's a totally different ball game. And it's the first time where I have never like had my family and friends and loved ones all around me. And that's what's been the hardest thing. And <laughs> it's weird because I thought that that would be the easiest part of it. Uh, whenever I thought about studying abroad, I never thought about who I'd be missing. I never thought about like who I was leaving behind. My eyes were just all set on travel. The only thing that mattered to me was getting on a plane and seeing the world. And travel is still very much alive in my heart, but after spending the last three months here and doing it, um, I've been able to sort of appreciate what I have back at home. And I've been able to appreciate um, and learn to to like see what is in front of me with all my family and friends and how much I love them and how much I care. And I kind of had those feelings right before I was leaving, like in the very last week that I was in America. That got me to thinking I hadn't even left for England yet and I'm already missing people like as I was. So how is this even gonna work for van life? But I told myself, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna enjoy my semester and then see how it goes and see how I feel about traveling and then I'll give it another shot once I'm back. And then within the first month, I realized I love the people in my life way too much to be leaving it behind. I have barely made it through the semester and it's been hard being nowhere near them. You know, it helps being able to talk to them and FaceTime every single day, but it's not enough because it's all about spending time with each other and going out and doing great things, something as simple as like grabbing a meal, just being in the presence of each other. And then apart from that, I also realized how much I loved Chicago. I have always dreamed of living there ever since I was little. Um, this past summer, I finally was able to move there with my mom and my sister. And it was kind of that summer that changed everything for me. I knew that I was still planning on going to the UK and Chicago will always be there. And then after being in the UK, I realized like, man, it sucks being away from everything. And so would it make much sense for me to come back to America and then immediately get into my van and just travel far away? And I would almost be putting myself through this whole like travel withdrawal a second time. And then after a lot of thinking, I came to the conclusion that maybe van life isn't for me. And that's crazy for me to say, and it's crazy for my friends and family to hear that because they know that I've been set on this for a long time. And I worked so hard to get my van, and I've just been set on this, and I, I had that dream, and I went for it. But then... I was able to like kind of experience the whole like what travel is all about. Again, maybe I'm just in this weird phase of wanting to go home already that I'm saying all this stuff. And I know that like after this entire trip is done, I'm gonna watch this video and be like, oh man, like you, you should you should be enjoying it while you're there because I know like I'm I'm not. It's gonna be like years and years until I'm back in Europe again. Like this really is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I guess I'm not seeing that right now because I'm just so blinded by homesickness. But that's okay, like I'm not gonna like force myself to like feel any different, I'm gonna let myself have whatever feelings I can. But at the same time, I'm also gonna make an effort to enjoy myself while I can. Alright, well, I feel like at this point I'm just rambling on, but thank you guys for listening. I hope you've been enjoying the travel vlogs lately, I hope you enjoyed Switzerland as much as I have. Wow, this is just a breathtaking view, and I'm so lucky that I'm able to explore. I got one more day left in Switzerland, and tonight, Gonna be leaving for Greece. That video will be coming very soon. Right. See you guys next time. <laughs>